I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you test problems from my student Joseph. Question here is find two values of k such that the following trinomial can be factored over the integers. So we are given two different quadratic equations. We need to find the value of k so that both of them separately can be factored over integers. So here the k is a constant. Now k should be product of two numbers, let us say p and q, I mean p and q, and minus 3 should be sum of those two numbers. That will give us the values which k can have and this can be factored. Since we are given this sum, what we can do is we can begin by thinking of two numbers whose sum is minus 3. For example, if I add minus 4 and 1, what do I get? I get minus 3. So k should be equal to minus 4 times 1, which is minus 4. So one value of k could be equals to minus 4. Do you see that? If k is minus 4, I could factor this. The equation becomes x square minus 3x plus k. And if I write k as minus 4, that is x square minus 3x minus 4, I could factor this equation as x minus 4 times x plus 1. You get the concept, right? So that is how we can do it. So now let me select some other value. How can I get by adding two numbers minus 3? So I could get minus 3 as minus 5 plus 2 is equals to minus 3. If I multiply these two, that means minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. So k is this value, minus 10. Okay. So let me write k as minus 10. So I get my equation as x square minus 3x minus 10. This can be factored as x minus 5 times x plus 2. Right. So, so I have given two answers. And my answers are k could be equal to minus 10. It could be minus 4 as I have shown. So likewise, we can have infinite number of values for k in this particular position. Do you understand? So that is how we really solve it. Now let's take up the next example where we are given the product. So, so now p dot q, the product of two numbers should be minus 18. So what can k be? k actually has to be sum of p and q. That is the strategy. So what combinations can give you minus 18? This is what you have to look for. So minus 18 could be 6 times 3. So I could have minus 6 times 3, for example, is minus 18. And if I add them, what do I get? I get the value of k, right? So if I add them, I get minus 3. So k equals to minus 3 can work. So I could write this as x square minus 3x minus 18 and I could write this as x using these two numbers minus 6 times x plus 3. You get the point, right? So one of my k values is minus 3. You don't have to show it but I'm just explaining you. 18 you could also get by saying minus 18 times 1, correct? If I add these two numbers, minus 18 plus 1 is minus 17. So I could get k as equals to minus 17 also. Let me show you. Let's use another ink. We have x square minus 17 x minus 18. I could factor this as x. So the two numbers are minus 18 and plus 1. That is how you can factor. So my solution is k is equals to minus 17, earlier we found minus 3. Likewise, we can have solutions for this number, right? So we could have 9 times 2 and likewise combinations. But you will appreciate that here we have limited solutions, right? Because product of two integers giving us 18 is limited, right? So that depends on the factors of 18. I hope that helps you to understand how to factor also and kind of looking at it from the reverse direction. Thank you and all the best.